lot of videos circling on social media showing that object flashing across the sky. The most likely explanation we're told is that a meteor possibly broke up and scattered before hitting the Earth. And if you happen to find a piece of that meteor, it could be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Our Mark Michael Locklear joins us now live in Salt Lake City. He talked to a local astronomer. Michael. Yeah, did you hear that loud boom? We wanted to know more about what caused it, and you may have a video that the NASA ambassador to Utah really wants to see. Watch as this meteor streaks through the sky over Utah. Later, a sonic boom. And the fact that it was heard does make it a lot closer than most meteors. Most meteors, they happen, you see them, you don't hear them because they were a long, long ways away. Patrick Wiggins has an asteroid named after him. He worked at the local planetarium for decades and now serves as a volunteer for NASA. But of course, when something spectacular happened like today, I was sound asleep. Wiggins has watched a lot of the videos, but he wants one that includes both the meteor and the sound. That will make it easy to calculate exactly how far away it was. I'd really like that video of the the flash. Wait, 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 boom. And apparently it was at least a minute away. So it was quite a ways out there. I've heard uh, one report as far away as Kansas. Wiggins thinks the last meteor that caused a loud boom over Utah dates back more than a decade. The one around 8.30 this morning may have been part of a meteor shower, but Wiggins calls that doubtful. All of the videos I've seen have it just disappearing into cloud banks. So what happened to the meteor? Wiggins says it could have gone back into space, but he guesses it exploded and scattered. Check your yard for meteorites. Some of them are more expensive than gold. Little did you know, you just walked past a $50,000 rock. Now, the astronomer tells me meteorites look just like rocks, so they're hard to spot unless they're somewhere unexpected, like your roof or your driveway. Now, if a meteorite happened to hit your car, you may actually have gotten lucky. Wiggins says collectors will often pay a premium for that vehicle. Live in Salt Lake City, Michael Locklear, KSL 5 News. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to get one of those. Thanks a lot, Michael.